Welcome to the beautiful St. Regis Hotel located in the Riviera Maya. Good morning, today I come to you from the gorgeous St. Regis Canai, which is located about 30 minutes south of Cancun, about 15 minutes north of Playa del Carmen. This hotel has 124 guest rooms, 19 suites and one presidential suite, all overlooking the ocean. This fabulous hotel is built over 620 acres of a nature reserve. Right now I am standing on one of these amazing pathways which are floating over the mangroves, see here? The architecture is actually very interesting here because they've built the hotel floating over these mangroves um, in order not to interfere with the nature reserve. Architecturally, these buildings are circular or semi-circular and they were inspired by the constellation Pleiades, which actually has an important significance in Mayan mysticism and culture. You can find nods to Mayan culture throughout the property actually. In our bedroom for instance there is a representation of the Mayan calendar in the seats. I'm going to take you on a bit of a walk through now but I wanted to start talking about the event areas for once. I am in the lobby area now as you can see behind me. This is the area where you would be dropped off on arrival. I'm going to flip the camera around now so you can see what I'm looking at. This area here is where you would be coming in that mangrove area at the back there that is part of the massive mangrove reserve and then you would be coming in through here drop your bags here you've got the bellboy that would be helping you and then you would head through the back there to the reception area i'm actually not going to take you to the reception area just yet i'm going to take you to one of the main event areas so through here we have some of the more formal event areas which are the ballroom seba and the meeting rooms Let's just head through here now. Right, I'm coming into the Save event space right now. This is a large circular area here, like a patio, with Save trees in the middle. Um, this is the Mayan sacred tree. You could have a fairly large um, cocktail reception here. Through these doors here, we have the ballroom, and that caters for far larger groups. And of course, it's an indoor venue. Um, and despite its garish carpet, it's actually a really nice space um, with windows. Um, a lot of these ballrooms don't actually have windows in hotels. From La Ceiba, over the other side of this little water feature here, we actually have another area here, which is great for smaller events. Um, we just had a breakfast event there, actually, we managed to fit, I think it was about 60 of us, 50 or 60 of us, using all of this area here and this area here. These areas here would be the non-beach areas. I'm going to take you down to the beach now so we can see the garden area down there as well as the beach itself for potential venues. It's actually getting fairly warm now, so I'm gonna head back up to the bedroom, into the AC, and I'm gonna do the bedroom walkthrough. Um, we have a deluxe room with two queen beds, um, and then I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna go through some of the other interesting facts about this hotel. Just before I take you up to the bedroom, I want to show you the um, reception area. This is where you check in, and you'll be assigned a butler. The butler will give you a bit of a brief history on the St. Regis brand, and the St. Regis Canai. One important architectural note is that you never really know in Canai if you're inside or outside. All of this area here, for instance, is outside. Architecturally, it's very interesting as they have managed to create these very eco-friendly 
um, shields against the sun. So it's always very cool in here. Once you leave the reception area, just to the left hand side here, you will have the library, the deli shop, the beauty salon, the spa and the athletic club, which is basically the gym. I'm gonna take you down there actually before we head up to the room. Directly in front of us here is the library. This is where you can do one of the St. Regis rituals, which is the afternoon tea. I'll come back to that in a minute. Directly in front of the library, we have the store. And then down this little corridor here, we have the deli shop directly to the left of the shop. In here you can find juices and cakes, coffee, tea. Right, let's carry on down this corridor here. The first stop here is the beauty salon. And the second door here is the spa. And here we have the gym, which is fairly well equipped. Heading through these doors with beautiful views over the mangroves there at the back. It has a few running machines. It has some electricals. It has cycling machines. Okay, I've come back to the lobby area and I'm gonna turn around so you can see the view from here. Um, it's actually raised so you can see the mangroves down there um, and there's lots of seating spaces down here. Again this is a really nice and cool area. It's helped by the fact that we've got these water features as well aside from the plants, the high ceiling, the screens and I want to show you the very first restaurant that you'll probably come across when you come here which is Jaya. So here on the right hand side, this is where you have breakfast. In our case, breakfast was included and our options were either an a la carte breakfast or a buffet breakfast. The buffet was absolutely amazing. So we decided to go with that. In the evening, Jaya actually turns into a Mediterranean restaurant and we both highly recommend it. Upstairs, up these stairs here, if you keep on going up, you'll get to the St. Regis bar. And that is where they do another ritual of St. Regis. At 6.30 in the evening, they do the sabering or sabhaj. The sabhaj is basically the evening ritual to welcome the evening activities. Our room is actually located up these stairs, so we're gonna head up there now. Welcome to our humble abode. Um, before we go in, I want to draw your attention to all this wood panelling here. You've got all these wooden doors <laughs> and it can be quite confusing. So, a lot of these doors can open up and most of them open up onto the bathroom. I'm gonna to come to this in a minute. And this one over here opens up onto the closet, which then opens up, hello. There's a mirror here, but actually it also opens up onto the bathroom too. So you've got all these walkways through to the bathroom area. And if you didn't know, pretty camouflage behind all this paneling. Once you get through this, what feels like a massive wardrobe as you come in, you will walk through to the main suite. We have two double beds, a fabulous view to the ocean. All the bedrooms here have views out onto the ocean. There's Zach out there on his phone. Fabulous terrace um, and a little sitting area. I've just backed up a little so I can show you to the right hand side here we have a wine cart with a wine list if you're into your wines. Under here we have some wine glasses and then heading back over, we're going to stick with the alcohol here, heading back over to this corner here we have the drinks cabinet which includes the harder liquor back here. So we have whiskies and mezcals, tequilas, vodka, all premium brands. And these lovely tumblers here. Look at that, really Art Deco. Actually, I'm gonna come back to the Art Deco theme because it's throughout. And um, next to that here, we have a coffee maker, which is an espresso with these gorgeous espresso and um, coffee cups. And over here to the left-hand side, are some little snacks at the back. Here we have our little capsule for the Nespresso. And down here in this chrome fridge here, we have 
wine, beer, more snacks, and different types of fancy waters. Right, we're gonna discuss this Art Deco theme. Look at this fabulous chrome fridge here. And over here we have a fabulous lamp with a, an Edison bulb in there, check this out. Oh, you can't actually see, but it feels vintage. And of course, as I mentioned before, we've got these great gold rim tumblers here, a wood ice box here with another little chrome detail here. This is actually the spoon for the ice. Over here we have some waters. All the waters here come in glass in an effort to not use so much plastic. Over here to the left hand side of the bar we have the television. Here you can stream Netflix and Prime. Right in front of the television we have the little sitting area and back here we have our two beds that lead on to the bathroom here. I'm going to take you through there next. Just a few more fun details. We have a vintage radio here. It does function as a radio, but it's also a wireless speaker. These lovely uh, gray lamps here. It's fantastic detail. And then a massive wood panel at the back of the beds. In between both of the beds, we have most of the electrical uh, sockets. We have both USB sockets and we have normal um, electricity sockets. Here is where we control the light and then here we can either decide whether we want it as a more of a mood light or if we want so to turn some of the lights off and not all of them or if you want the whole lot on. And here, um, these two switches here are for, let me just show you, if I press this, which one do I want? This right hand one here. It's going to close the main blackout curtains. We're going to be in the dark in a minute. Okay, let's open that back up again. This obviously is more for nighttime sleeping. And then if you want a bit more privacy during the day, you would press this lighter uh, curtain option here. And this is just what we call the neck cursing. Off it goes. Goodbye to Zach. All right, we want neither because we like the whole thing open here. So I'm going to reopen all of that, but it's good to know that you have them. This lighter curtain obviously is better for when the sun is coming through. Today's quite a hazy day, so we actually don't need it here, but sometimes the sun would actually come straight through here. So you probably would want to use that neck curtain. Okay, let's discuss the Art Deco theming again. These two seats, for instance, have got a real Art Deco feel about them, but with an added touch, because back here, lift this up, you'll be able to see some funny etchings into the back of the seats and they're actually representations of the Mayan calendar. So that's a lovely touch for these. The coffee table also has hints of Art Deco. It's got that lovely marble texture to it with green veins throughout it and you'll be able to find this type of tabletop on all the tables here including the ones that are in the bedside tables here that look like little drums and over here as well as well as in the bathroom and that's where we're going to move on to next. By heading into the bathroom we have these amazing sinks but rather than being side to side they're actually facing each other. So if you were here as a couple one of you would be facing this way whereas the other would be facing that way as you're brushing your teeth for instance. Right let's go through the amenities in the bathroom. So we have these fabulous light ringed mirrors here. Again, feeling very Art Deco here. I'm gonna go through the amenities in the sink area. Over here we have the soaps, and in here we have some cotton, we have a nail file, we have uh, Q-tips. These are the hotel's amenities. This is a body lotion, all of them with essential oils. Here we have a facial cleansing gel. This is a mouthwash. Under here, we have the hair dryer, very heavy all this stuff, which can be plugged into this little socket here. And on the floor here, we've got some scales, just in case you want to weigh yourself during your holidays. Behind me, we have the closet. Remember, this is a walkthrough closet, like literally a walkthrough. If you walk through here and to the left, it's the main entrance. We have a couple of robes and an umbrella, and there's plenty of storage space back here. Up here we have the safe, we've just thrown t-shirts and swimming suits in these areas here. And then finally at the bottom we have more drawer space which we didn't really need because we're not here for very long. In this drawer you have a steamer, 
shoe shine laundry um you have like the hugest shoe horn i've ever seen look at that right from here let's head back into the bathroom again i have a massive bathtub here the bathtub comes with some lovely lavender salts here and then over here in the corner we have a rainfall shower with a separate handheld shower here which you also have over here in the bath actually so at the back of the taps here got another handheld shower it's off before you get out of the bath and then let's talk more amenities back here we have shampoo conditioner and body wash again all with essential oils these are lovely and then we'll head back to this area where you have a very hollywood-esque style dressing table again with these massive lights that provide great lighting and back here we have yet another door which is the toilet note all the doors in this bathroom whether it's these ones the ones behind there or these larger ones they slide however the toilet door does not slide and it's extremely confusing it opens just by pulling it open toilet area it's just a normal toilet now remember that the door of the toilet is pushed and pulled it does not slide we both got confused with this and tried to slide our way open but no this one is a pull push situation right i think i've covered all the essentials in the bedroom actually i'm going to head out onto the terrace and i'm going to show you a couple of the event spaces from here so right now we're looking straight out onto the ocean and here is the main boardwalk over the mangroves that leads into the lobby area. That area right behind here is La Ceiba, which is the area I showed you earlier on. And out here, you can make out a pier. This is actually a lot larger than it looks. This is gonna be amazing for some of the larger outdoor events. I do find it a little bit risky though. I worry that guests will be jumping into the ocean at the end of the evening. Let's see how this new area pans out. It's a very new concept. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about restaurants. The very first restaurant I want to mention is Chaya. You can have breakfast at the Chaya restaurant, which is located just off the lobby area. Chaya offers both a buffet and an a la carte option. The buffet is absolutely fabulous. It has pastries, eggs, bacon, sausages, fresh fruit, yogurt, cereal, bread, the lot and really great coffee later on in the evening it turns into a mediterranean restaurant last night we started off with pita bread and some fantastic dips and zach had a pizza there is a pizza oven in there and i had tabbouleh we both thought the food was absolutely delicious jaya does breakfast and dinner but doesn't do lunch so for lunch you may want to consider the riviera this is heading down to the beach area interestingly the riviera is a combination of aesthetics from the riviera maya together with the mediterranean riviera they do kind of like high-end snacks this is where i tried the saint regis canai version of the bloody mary the bloody mary is one of the saint regis's rituals and i come back to the rituals in a little bit in the beach area you also have the beach club which is a little bit further down the beach this is the pool and beach area only for adults at the beach club you can find tacos and tapas and of course it has its own bar as well so as i mentioned the beach club is just for adults if you head back to the riviera here you'll have two large pools which are for families and just off one of the pools you'll actually have the kids club which is called Tortugas Club. And there's a further paddling pool there for the young ones. Just off this area, there's a very large beach lounge area. And then a little bit further down behind the dunes, you'll have sunbeds with umbrellas directly on the beach. In between the beach club and the Riviera, there is another drinking spot, which is Jack's Club. Jack's Club is actually a sports bar. In Jack's Club, you'll find large screens to watch the games. There is a billiards table and a football table, of course, a bar in the corner. And then outside, there is a smaller chill out area with a plunge pool. Down in the beach area, we also have Toro. Now, I initially thought, given that Toro means bull in English, that this would be more of a meat oriented restaurant, but it actually has a lot of seafood dishes to offer as well. Toro has a lovely romantic area outside nestled in the mangroves, but it also has an inside area which is air conditioned, and it actually has a bar area at the back which is really cool, all with this very romantic feel. Now, Toro is only open for dinner 
as I mentioned before, other dinner spots are Chaya. And the final spot to have snacks in the evenings is the St. Regis Bar. The St. Regis Bar is where the savoring happens every evening. So the evening ritual of savoring or savrage, which is another one of uh, St. Regis's rituals, happens on the third floor just above the lobby. Uh, in the St. Regis bar. When we saw the sabering, there was actually a Marriott family member that was in attendance. So they are invited up to do the sabrage that evening. At the moment, sabering happens at 6.30 in the evenings, just as the sun sets. St. Regis also does offer snacks in the evening, but they're not full meals like you would get, for instance, in Chaya or Toro. They're more like heavy snacks. Finally, let's give a mention to the library. This is just behind the lobby. The library is where the afternoon tea takes place. As I mentioned, afternoon tea is also part of the St. Regis rituals. Now let's talk about the rituals next. There are four St. Regis's rituals. The first one is the Bloody Mary. The original Bloody Mary was invented in the New York St. Regis. And since then, every St. Regis hotel around the world adopts the Bloody Mary with its own special touch. So for instance, the Bloody Mary here in St. Regis Canai has a little corn on it, which is a representation of the Mayan culture, and the vodka comes from Oaxaca. The second ritual, as I mentioned, is the sabering or sabraj, which takes place when the sun starts going down. Here in St. Regis Canai, it happens in the St. Regis Bar, overlooking the mangroves on the third floor. The third ritual is the afternoon tea, which here takes place in the library, which is just behind the reception. Afternoon tea here in Canai includes chocolates. This is a way to incorporate Mexican cocoa into the ritual. The final ritual is called the Midnight Supper and unfortunately there was not a Midnight Supper during our time here. So we'll have to come back to that. Right, hopefully that will give you a better idea of the different food and drink spots that we have here at the St. Regis Ganay and also the different rituals that you can participate in during your time here. Right, that's it for our tour of St. Regis Ganay here in the Riviera Maya. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. And until next time, adios.